Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be going over Nimic's awesome new staking calculator, which just recently came out. And the purpose of this is so you can get a rough idea of the types of rewards you may be able to earn once Nimic 2.0 comes out, which will of course be proof of stake. And just on this first page, once you get here, and you can of course get here through nimic.com forward slash staking slash calculator, or you can of course click the link in the description. But just some general information is it is empowered by Albatross, and even with a small amount of NIM, you can still generate rewards. By staking NIM, you're helping to strengthen the network, and you'll be rewarded for your contribution. And of course, simplicity is key, so it's not going to require too much technical knowledge, and you can set it right up from your browser. So let's start this calculator. Right off the bat, we can notice that it is very in line with Nimic's simplistic design. Did we just create a rhyme? Anyways, right here in the main section of the calculator, we'll notice this kind of a graph where we can adjust the amount of time we would like to stake our NIM. You can of course slide it around, or you can click these predetermined pre times, for example, maybe six months, or five years, or even 10 years, and the longer you stake, the more rewards you'll get. There you also notice these little eyes throughout different features, and if you hover over it, it'll give you some more information about said feature. So for example here, the number of months you plan to stake, choose from six months to 10 years. Very cool. Over here, we have the amount of NIM which we will be staking. So by default, it's set to 100,000 NIM. Let's say we just wanted to stake 50,000 NIM. We can type that in and the info will adjust accordingly. Down here, we can enable restaking this way Every time we gain earn rewards, it'll be, they'll be restaked, and we can see that our rewards are increased by a little bit there. And I do like how it shows the two different charts or graphs, so you can see the difference between right there. And that's pretty much all the information for the front page. But if you'd like to see some more advanced options, you can click Show Advanced Options, and over here we can adjust the price of NIM. So if we wanted to see what our rewards would look like. At, let's say when Nimic is $1, oh, nice. Then we can of course do that. Over here we can adjust the amount of circulating supply staked. So this is the amount of NIM in existence that is staked. So the more NIM that is staked, the lower the rewards will be. But the less amount, the, the lower the amount of NIM staked, the higher your rewards will be. Over here we can add in this 10% fee, so that is kind of added into the reward, because if you're using a, let's say a pool to stake, there's a good chance they'll take a fee of anywhere around 10%. And over here we can see the planned fork date. So those are pretty much all the different controls that you have. Not too many to be overwhelming, but sure enough to have some fun. Get excited for Nimic 2.0, because you can kind of get an idea for the rewards you might be. But let's actually kind of use this. Let's say I was like, okay, I wanna stake 50,000 NIM. Maybe I wanna stake it for one year, not too long, not too short. And I can get in a rough idea that if I were to restake, then I could be re earning a reward of about a bit over 6,000 NIM, currently valued at about $19. And that is, of course, with the pool fees added in there. So if we want to turn that off, our reward would go up. And yeah, I highly recommend checking it out, just playing around with some of the controls, seeing what you can come up with. And I hope you found this video useful. Be sure to like, and I'll see you in the next one.